Hi, I'm Nikki Glazer from You Up with Nikki Glazer, and I'm here with Natalie Portman from the new documentary Eating Animals, which I have to be honest with you, I have not seen yet um, because I'm scared to watch it. I feel like I know enough. I'm a vegan. Uh, the things I do know have um, steered me towards a vegan lifestyle, and I'm one of these people that would rather just not see it. So for those people who feel that way, what is your advice to them about seeing this movie? Because I think a lot of us are just like, I'd rather not. Nah, 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 nah. Well, we made a conscious effort to make it something that you want to watch, that it's not, there's not like scare, scare shots in it. You know, there's not torture pieces that oh, you're great. watching. It's, it really focuses on on the good farmers who are doing it right and then showing that this is not how the vast majority of animals are being raised, but that we could go back to and find again if we were committed to ending factory farming. Yes. Okay. So you're not going to tune into this and see a bunch of things that is going to ruin your day. No. I mean, it will probably change the way that you want to eat. I mean, yeah. I doubt people are going to become vegan, but you know, it's so hard to change. It lifestyle. pushes them in the right direction. But I think that, you know, even if it makes you question where your food is being sourced, or even if once a day or once a week you choose to eat vegan, that makes a huge difference over millions of people. And, and I think that's something that most people could, could easily achieve. I love that you're saying that Natalie, because I feel like so many people are so anti-vegan because they think it's all or nothing and I'm not going to do it right. And I think a lot of people have felt backlash from vegans of, well, then, but you're wearing leather and you're not, right. but you can't do it perfectly, but just trying once, a, once a day or once a week is, right. is enough. Right. It's, you know, like I, I really care about like plastic bottles and, you know, try and always eat, drink, drink water out of my like metal thermos, yes. you know. Um, but, you know, sometimes I get stuck and I'm thirsty and I need, you know, and I have a plastic bottle of water, you know. <laughs> but like that, I think that's the, uh, that's the human thing is like we all, yeah. we all try yes. and there's, and we mess up sometimes and that's how we are. <laughs> I, I think it's really important just as long as you try. I, I, I really appreciate when people are like, I'm trying to be vegan. I'm like, good. You yeah. don't have to do the whole thing. I mean, let's all inch towards it. And I think this documentary is really going to help do that because even watching the trailer, I felt this sense uh, halfway through where it's like, this is what's happening. It's bad. It's bad. And then you see the compassion that many farmers do have. And you talk about it's one, it's less than 1% of mm -hmm. the farming that's happening that is not factory farming, that is actually um, has some compassion for the animals and, and, and hopefully that percentage rises and is going to have to because we're ruining the earth with the other 99 plus percent. Right, it's such an environmental question too. If you care yeah. about the environment at all, you should definitely care about factory farming because it's the number one contributor to pollution. Um, <sighs> it's destroying our, our soil, our water, and our air. It's the number one contributor to greenhouse gases. So I mean, it's really, it's, it's really, really um, insane what effect this, this corporate kind of farming of animals is. Yeah. I mean, w you were vegetarian at nine, you became vegetarian and then more recently vegan. What made you take that vegan step? Was there one fact you read? Was there one thing you saw? Um, I think it was definitely the mucus in milk. Yes. That was something that was so disturbing that the cows that are dairy cows are that sick. Yeah. And also that then we're drinking or consuming, whether it's cheese or, you know, yogurt or ice cream or whatever, you know, dairy product you're eating, that you're actually eating mucus was so <laughs> disgusting to me that there's right. like pus in all dairy um, is so disturbing that that was not difficult to change after. That's a good point because I feel like whether or not you care about the animals, you're like, I don't want to drink pus. Like <laughs> exactly. I think that's something everyone can kind of get behind. Exactly. <laughs> um, and I, I, I have to ask, having 
um, small children, how, how do you, how do they eat? My husband is not vegan. He eats everything. So I didn't want to impose my belief system. So I think I'm exposing them to everything. Like they get to try everything and then they ask once they get to the point where they can talk. Yeah. <laughs> um, they start asking, you know, why don't you eat that mommy? What? And I tell them. <laughs> and yeah. um, with my older kid, he's, I've, I've, take it brought him over to my side yes. he's chosen to come <laughs> yes. to my side so I feel very excited about that he's quite passionate about it and he's even more extreme than me he's like you know he'll see like a, a, a you know jolly rancher and he'll be like does that have red food dye because I read in my PETA kids magazine that red food dye is from made out of crushed beetles <laughs> That is so cute. He's very and, passionate. But you're right. I think at such a young age, we care about animals so much. We, have, You were saying we have stuffed animals. We watch cartoons. Animals have personalities and they can talk. And then suddenly somewhere along the line, we just stop caring because when you do care, if you were exposed to the truth, it's just too much. Right. And you want to eat your favorite foods. I always say as a vegan, people are, people think vegans just like love plants and that we don't like the taste of milkshakes and we don't like meat. I miss all those things. Yeah. I'm living a less fun life because I care about animals and the environment. <laughs> Sometimes to do the right thing, it's not always the easy thing to do. Well, also I think that now I have to say I really love food. I really care about yeah. food. I like eating delicious things and there's really great replacement things yeah. now. So, um, um, you know, like impossible burgers are delicious. Uh, Van Leeuwen's ice vegan ice cream is delicious. Oh, I haven't had it. Okay. Yes. Go for Van Leeuwen's. Okay. It's amazing. <laughs> um, Kite Hill makes great cheeses. There's like really, really great stuff coming out. And I think the more that stuff is out there, the more people will be happy to replace it because like my husband has an impossible burger and he is like, this tastes like a regular burger to me. And I would rather eat this because I obviously, you know, if you have the same taste yeah. and the same satisfaction and one is cruel and one is harmless, then everyone would choose the harmless choice. Yeah. So it's just about the the substitutes being as delicious, I think. So yeah. that we can have as fun lives as vegans. I, I agree. <laughs> and I, that's the reality is when you introduce non-vegan friends and you take them to a vegan restaurant and they're like, what's this going to be? I feel like people are so often won over and they don't think they're going to be. So yes. I'm so grateful that you produced this film Thank and uh, narrate it because your voice is amazing. And um, <laughs> so... Uh, uh, Eating Animals is in the name of the documentary. Natalie Portman, thank you so much thank for talking you. to me about um, veganism and uh, the factory farming industry and what, uh, how horrible it is. <laughs>